Katja Hemmerling from Paper, Paint and Palette Inspirational Online Art Studio. And I am here today to start little series like five minute videos, uh, live streams about primary colors. And we will be talking about primary colors in subtractive color mixing. We will be talking about colors, pigments in paint, particularly in paint and watercolor and uh, pigments in tempera paint. Uh, those are very approachable and very affordable uh, paints and even children can at school uh, or if they're homeschooled can try color mixing using watercolor and tempera paint. So as you know many different subjects at school start with basics. When you go to the preschool you learn about ABCs uh, for English, you learn about counting uh, in math, and you're supposed to know also primary colors. Sometimes we end up knowing primary colors and uh, we think we are all good and set. But in 21st century, primary colors are quite different from primary colors um, that we were taught 5, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, in my case, I was taught 30, 35 years ago about primary colors and for some reason we thought that red, blue and yellow are the primary colors and usually we take red, let's put over here, let's do some primary colors over here, uh, red, yellow and blue. So I made the gray, um, uh, grid over here and uh, I will put primary colors over here for red, yellow, and blue. So we believe that the red is a primary color, then we put yellow as a primary color, and third primary color we put blue. So this is watercolor, They're nice and vibrant. When we start mixing those colors though, we ended up having a little trouble because when we start combining red plus yellow, let's do mathematical equation over here. We assuming we'll get orange, then when we will be combining yellow and blue, we're assuming we will get yellow plus blue, we're assuming we will get green, and uh, the last one, uh, red plus blue, We hope to get purple or violet, depends on how much pur uh, purple or blue, I'm sorry, how much red or blue we're going to put into the mix. So let's try mixing those colors. Again, I'm working in watercolor. So I have my red over here and I will be adding right now yellow. Okay, there is some type of happening over there. Paint brush because I don't want to contaminate uh, other mixing colors with this paint. Now let's try yellow, mixing yellow, oops, with blue, and we should get green over there. Okay, well, some type of green happening. Again, they more look like tertiary colors than secondary colors. Again, our primary colors happen over here. We hoping to get secondary colors it's supposed to be also bright and uh, pure. And we are experimenting over here. And the last but not least, red plus blue. Let's find this red that we think is red, it's actually uh, orange, but oops, I have so many paint brushes over here. Now I will add a little bit of blue and we're hoping it will get to be some purple or violet. It actually gets uh, into the neutral color, which is kind of brown tint over here. Uh, right now, I finished creating those secondary colors for the 
uh, that we used to be taught at schools and that uh, sometimes in real life and practicing, we see that the results are uh, just okay when we start mixing primary colors in order to get secondary colors. Now, nowadays, the 21st century primary colors and color mixing is a little bit different. And why is it different? I will explain to you. Now, the difference is that we aware of printers and printers have four ink cartridges, right? It's cyan, magenta, and yellow, and also black. We're not going to be touching black today. It's for the different lesson. Uh, we're just going to be talking about primary colors. So by combining cyan, magenta, cyan, magenta, and um, yellow, we get all other colors, tints, shades, um, plus combining black with that, we'll get some tones going on over there. So the thing is that this, um, in 21st century, we get different perspective on what is really that mysterious red color that makes such a big difference in color mixing. And we know more from the uh, printing at home. It's now available in every single household. And so let's see what will happen if we will put cyan, cyan, magenta, and yellow instead of red, uh, yellow, and blue. So let's put cyan over here. Now let's put magenta into this square. And let's put yellow, which is this bright lemon, lemony yellow. Okay, so that's our primary colors of the 21st century. Now, when we will combine those colors, let's see what type of secondary colors we will get here, okay? So let's try first combining cyan and magenta. And we're supposed to get, again, purple or violet. Then over here in this square, we will combine magenta and yellow. And we're supposed to get orange. And the last one square will get cyan and magenta combination. And, I'm sorry, cyan and yellow combination. And we're supposed to get green from this. All righty, so let's try. Cyan. Let me grab some of that. And let me grab some magenta over here. All right. That's more purple tint. I want it more to be violet. So let's add a little bit. Oops. Okay. Look at this bright color, right? Beautiful. Let me wash off my paint brush. I don't want to contaminate my colors over here for the next mixing process. Now we're going back to magenta. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your time. I hope you're going to pass it on to your children. And they need to be aware of the 21st century um, new view of color mixing and primary colors. So I put magenta here, I'm adding yellow. Oops, left hand is not my primary hand. So we're getting orange over here. And the last color over here, we're supposed to get cyan over here in that square and yellow. Let's see what type of green we're going to get from this. Oops, you know what? I contaminated my yellow. Um, beg your pardon, I'm going to create new puddle of yellow over here. Okay, so in the next lessons, because we have to talk about it, we use so much technology, we're constantly looking into TV uh, screen, computer screen, um, uh, monitors, our phone screen, iPad, iPads, anything has light now they are not pigments it's not printed right it's not paper it's not a book it's not magazine so 
the the primary colors and light are absolutely mind blowing. It's even more amazing uh, in some ways than pigment. I thank you so much for sticking with me for so long. It was fun mixing. I hope you're gonna have some mixing experiments uh, going on at your home. And I wish you a wonderful day. Go get some mixing.